We all know the American Idol superstars in front of the camera, but there are a few stars behind the scenes as well. I'm Nigel Lithgow. I'm the president of 19 Television and the co-executive on the American Idol production. Ken Warwick, executive producer. Brian Gadinsky, co-executive producer. Uh, the show originated in the UK uh, and it was created by Simon Fuller, who uh, is the owner of 19 Entertainment and my boss, basically. Uh, he came up with the idea from having seen pop stars and realized that it's really the public should decide on who the pop star should be, who the pop idol should be. Kelly all the way. Kelly's good. Justin. Kelly. J Justin. Justin. I think Kelly. Justin. Kelly Clarkson all the way. One of the major premises of, of, of this show is to tell people exactly what you think of them. And it's not the American way to tell a young kid who's sitting there, standing there, singing their heart out, no, you are terrible, don't give up your day job, you are awful. Brandon, you win the award today for the worst audition. I mean, that was absolutely dreadful. When I was uh, hired to be the co-executive producer on this side of the pond, being the American executive producer to work with the two from England, um, it was natural that I would sort of get a jump start it was a very, very massive undertaking. There's very little difference in the structure of the show here in the US uh, as opposed to that in the UK. I think the main difference that I've seen is in the talent. And it's the ones that suck uh, have this great attitude. So if one of the judges turns around and says, you really can't sing, they go, excuse me? My point is you were terrible. Excuse me? Because <laughs> so often with talent searches and talent shows, Judges don't want to be critical. They just want to say, oh, good job, and if you wear a nice dress, I'm sure you're going to be a star. That's not what American Idol's about. We've got to be honest. We've got to keep the integrity of the show. If someone is going to be called the American Idol, they've got to leave this show knowing that they can be called an American Idol. I don't believe Cassandra has a singing talent. She's completely wasting her money. Honestly, complete waste of money. Sorry. Because if you want to achieve what you want to achieve, you will not do it with your voice. Sorry. Thank you. Day one in Los Angeles, um, during one of the breaks, uh, I was, saw Simon getting made up, and I went to Simon and I said, Simon, put this in the bank. By the end of the summer, you will be on the cover of People magazine. You will be one of the most famous people in America. And he looked at me and said, no. Really? He said, put it in the bank. I knew from the moment I saw him on the, on the British show the kind of impact that he would have. I thought he took it quite well. <laughs> what I've been amazed at here is the success of Simon Cowell and how it hasn't really affected him. He's actually managed to learn to drive on the right-hand side of the road, sign autographs with one hand whilst waving at passers-by at the other whilst driving down Rodeo Drive. This guy has become so egotistical so self-opinionated, so arrogant, and they're his best attributes. You're very handsome. Just tell me something I don't know. The night the first show aired, I said to Nigel Lithgow, my co-executive producer, I said, you listen to Howard Stern tomorrow morning. If Howard Stern's talking about the show, the show's gonna be a mega hit. Sure enough, first thing, was, I saw a new show, it's my favorite show on television. It's called American Idol. I knew that the show was gonna be a hit. Because if you've got Howard, you've got the United States of America. When Kelly sang Respect, for me also, I suddenly realized that somebody who, and it always happens, the people with the lowest profile at the very beginning fight their way through and come to the top. And the first time I heard her sing that, I thought, what? This kid's gonna be there at the end. She's fabulous. She's got a real, she's got a real talent too. During this production, I had to go to hospital and have an MRI scan. I've got doctors around me, nurses around me. All they want to talk about is American Idol. Why did Tamira get voted off? Who do I think will win? I'm sitting there in absolute pain saying, please look at me. Please just give me some painkillers or anything. All they want to talk about is American Idol. It was at that point that I realized this was probably the biggest show I've ever done in my life anywhere in the world. I do feel a sense of pride in that um, whatever small way. You know, I had a hand in um, this journey that they're on. 
Um, and um, being able to see them go on from here and always look back on this sort of a watershed moment in their own lives, that makes me proud. This program is a great springboard for somebody's career. It's not a guarantee. Whatever music they eventually decide to go and do will determine whether they're successful or not. In the UK, Will Young sold 1.3 million records in the first week. That's enormous. When you think that a, a record, a single here, can sell between 70 to 80,000 and be number one. To be associated with something like that and, and watch what it does to people around me and to me and to, and to the world and to read about it in the newspaper and to realize how many friends I didn't know that I had calling me for tickets. Um, just taking this ride is something that I've tried to savor because it's not going to happen again. And, uh, and I've loved every minute of it. I'm very, very proud. Very, very proud for all of the kids that have been part of it and the production team and everybody else that's created it. I'm very, very proud of Fox Broadcasting as well for having the guts to say we'll take a British program and not Americanize it. Fox have allowed us to be tough. And I think, you know, America accepts it. It's been a great experience. LA is a fabulous place. I love it. Um, you know, to have this sunshine every year, certainly not what we get in England. Um, there's always going to be day-to-day -day problems, but nothing's been horrendous. Nothing's been really, really bad. Um, I've had a great time. I, I loved it. You know, I mean, it's. Uh, I can't wait for the next series to begin. Whoa.